on episode 29 of the Super TV Bros, your favorite brothers sit down to revive Mortal Kombat 11 after a long break. Wrap your hands around your sticks and mash button onwards to victory. I'm Kalanika and this is the Super TV Bros podcast. Uh, welcome back to this. I didn't know that's what you were gonna do. No, that's that's perfect. No, that's actually perfect. Yeah, uh, welcome to Super Chevy Bros episode 28, right? No, 29. Do you even know? It said 29. Okay, 29. Okay, I didn't hear. Yeah, yeah, episode 29. Uh, I'm I'm Shafal. That's Shafar. Um, sorry, we've been gone for a minute because, you know, life happens. But we're back. Got more episodes for you. Back on schedule. And today we're talking about Mortal Kombat 11. The, 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 the greatest video game. 11. The, 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 greatest, the greatest video game that's ever been created. Are you, gonna, you, should, you should play that every time we say Mortal Kombat. So that it's that instead of really loud. Exactly. Yeah. Just, just try to time it every time, you say it. and it should be fine. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't even know what that one is. That wasn't me. The yeah. No, that wasn't me. <laughs> I didn't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, anyway. I didn't yeah, do that. So, <laughs> I'm 100% serious. I didn't do that. <laughs> what? You what the did that fuck one. is that? That's, that's, you. that's not me. No, that's... that's that is not me. I, my hand's not even on the keyboard, dude. <laughs> Stop it. I'm, it's not me. <laughs> It's not. It's not me. I swear, it's not me. I didn't do that. I don't know how to show my hands okay. are up, but I didn't do that. Can it, can it stop? Can it stop? The magical ghost that's making this happen. I sort of should. I sort of believe you that you're not doing this. Just a little bit. Then it must be you. Hey, you're, you're you're recording this, by the way, right? No, I'm just fucking <laughs> talking about. A... Don't don't ask questions yeah. like that. I, I, okay. Anyway, today we're going to talk about Mortal Kombat 11. It came out April what 26th, sure, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's been out for a minute though. It's been out for a few weeks. Um, we we've both been playing it a lot. It's pretty much like one of our favorite franchises ever. But we have a lot of thoughts about it. We're going to tell you guys how good and. I wouldn't say anything bad about it, but like you know, anything we dislike about it, I guess. Me, but we'll yeah, get into it. Yeah, we'll get around to it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll do the largest scheme of things. We're gonna we're gonna try to go in order. Uh, try to have some sort of structure, so we're not just talking about the game. But um, thank God, I actually beat the story yesterday after taking three years to beat it. So we're gonna spoil that probably at one point, but we'll let y'all know. Um, but I mean, if you haven't beat the game yet, I think. It's like only what, like four hours, something like that. Uh, maybe six. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I beat it. It's it's really it. not that long, honestly. It's it's pretty. I mean, it's it's as, it's at least as long as uh, nine. The cut Eight. the cut scenes were maybe longer long this time, which I appreciated. But we could talk yeah, about the, that later. The cut scenes are longer. Yeah. Yeah, so um, you wanna you wanna go ahead and uh, uh, uh jump. Well, well, I mean, like, is that you? Well, that's I... not me. No, that's not me. That's you, man. I know it's you. Oh God, no. That's... Anyway, so I mean, I, I mean, well, first of all, do you like the game? Is it good, in your opinion? Yeah, I like the game. I I I think it's it's definitely. Um, the best Mortal Kombat. I mean, it it should be. It's the yeah. one after the last one. I I think um, 
I Mortal Kombat 10, I didn't I mean I liked it, but I didn't like it so much. There's just a lot of uh 50/50s, which means you have to guess a lot and a lot of running combos which uh, take a lot of time. Wah. What? What? <laughs> I was just saying when. I mean, I, I understand though. I mean, 10 was 10 was great, but I don't know. I feel like 11 got a lot of stuff either done better or they approved upon it in a lot of ways. I mean, yeah, I'm glad they took the running shit out. I was done with that. I mean, I I was fine with running. It just like the game became more to me it felt more like like a 2D tech and the the cuz it's just when you have the run in there and then everything's a 50-50, you don't know if it's like you can do an overhead or a low attack and it's just bouncing people back and forth and then the next guy yeah. gets his, you know, 60% combo and it's, just, it's I mean it was and the game looked fun, it looked great uh but for me it just and like the characters I really liked I didn't necessarily like the variations. I mean, I think variations are the I think the best thing Mortal Kombat has introduced to fighting games, but I didn't like Sub-Zero's variations and I didn't like uh I mean, Raiden's was okay. Maybe it was only Raiden. Yeah. So. Yeah, like I I found myself only picking like one variation for most characters because I felt like for most of them only one was worth using, but I I think 11 really fix that with the fact that you can make your own um, variations. And, like, they have preset ones, obviously, but, like, you can make your own. And I think that I kind of, like, made that a lot easier. Because, I mean, there's, there's like, some things in some loadouts in X that I thought were, like, oh, that's cool. And there's some that I was, like, oh, that looks like trash. Like, I think one of Melina's variations was one of the stupidest things in the world. But it was, like, all teleportation. But you got, you lost, like, half of her command grabs and stuff but yeah no i agree i agree i feel like um i don't know i feel like 11 just just took a lot of that stuff and took it to the next level and it made everybody stop looking like cartoon characters at the same time so that's good well i mean at the time when M- mkx came out like those graphics weren't bad at all i mean especially those graphics for... fire when they came out i thought I it looked amazing I wouldn't, I wouldn't say they're fire. you know what you you speak like a, a guy who goes to cafes do you go to cafes Occasionally, like alone, not with the girlfriend who makes you go to cafes. Oh no, 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 what, <laughs> no. I mean, I'm talking like not Starbucks because everyone at some point has to walk inside of a Starbucks. But I mean, like a, a cafe, because that's 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 kind of what you said. You sound like a cafe guy. All right, whatever, you douche, douche nozzle. Uh, I mean. Yeah, no. I mean, I I uh I I really liked 10. It was interesting cuz me and you played it a little but not not that not very long ago, like right before 11 came out. And it it was good, but like yeah, it just felt I was like, "Oh, wow, this especially after playing the 11 beta, I was like, "Oh, this is not as amazing as I remember." Even though it's a great game. Like it's a great game. It's just like different and that's kind of what i like about all the more kind of games that they're all a little bit different than the one before especially the last four or five yeah i mean it's, yeah it, it's it's fun uh so so 11 uh as that's f- since we're talking about looks let's start with the graphics and stuff i think 11 is yeah. uh a very very good looking game i was really excited for 11 after playing uh injustice 2 because Injustice 2 looks good. I mean, it's really... Uh, yeah, Injustice t- 2 looks amazing. Especially when you look at what fighting games usually do. I mean, you have essentially two types of fighting games. 3D fighting games and 2D fighting games. And you you can include 2.5D fighting games in that. It's the same, same shit. But, it's um, the same thing as two, 2D games, yeah. yeah. But, like... Um, Usually, when you get 2D games like this, you have an anime game like a Dragon Ball or Guilty Gear. Or maybe even if you do have a 3D game, you get like Tekken but or Soul Calibur, right? But those games yeah. try to stay... I mean, 
Tekken's characters don't they they look good, but they don't look like people, you know? Uh, they, they look like they anime look... characters, sort of. No, it's just the art style. Look at is, like mannequins, is... kind of. Maybe, yeah. And same with Soul Calibur, you know? But, like, yeah. th- Mortal Kombat always goes... Well, at least, especially this time, with MK11 and Injustice, uh, they really try to make it look as human as possible, which I like. I mean, I, I think their facial yeah. capture or whatever is really good, and... The motion yeah. capture is really good, uh, and the game just looks... that, that was like that was one of their biggest complaints. I think before Injustice Two is that people would say like, "Oh, these characters look like garbage," and like at first I was like, "Oh, what are these people talking about?" But have you gone back and looked at the character models for Nine and like their faces? Yeah, I know, but it, look at the time yeah, it came uh, out. I don't think anybody like if you go back and look at any fucking game, it's gonna look like shit compared to now. Unless you're talking about like, no, nah, that's what I mean. I meant like the art direction, not even like, like the graphics or something. I mean, like just there were games at the time that came out that had that looked better than that. Like some, the like the art was the, bad. Were there fighting games at the time that looked better than that? Like you have to stay within the uh, genre. Tekken was out, right? If I'm if I'm gonna go and and compare, uh, what if if I'm gonna go and compare fucking Last of Us to Mega Man? Well, you know you you have to stay in the genre, and even Tekken at that time, MK9. What Tekken was out? Uh, Tekken Tag Two. Tekken Tag Two, right? I don't think there's that much of a difference really when you talk about like fidelity of characters and what people look like and yeah, all that's that. true that's second true. characters that's are just true. on the screen moving mortal kombat has a whole fucking story mode and people with dialogue you know what i mean it's it's just a different thing and then again we're back we're back in the 2d fighting games so anyway i think the game looks really good um even the artsy stuff, like the blood, is very, very. The blood's super stylized, but I think I like it a lot more. Yeah, I like it more stylized. I like that um, the the I the overall art style, like of the equipment and gear and the stages, I think fits the Mortal Kombat genre better than or Mortal Kombat like. Uh, it's a fucking image. chainsaw on the levels, dude. Well, not just that, but just the way things look and are built. Like, I think MK10 was too, uh, I don't know how, like, a little too Western-ish. Like, you you have military bases, and uh, it looked looked too modern is maybe better. When you look at MK11 and the stages and stuff, it it feels more like the movies and that 90s feel and... Mm -hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But it still looks really good. Yeah, yeah. Th- I think that's what I like the most about it is that, and I mean, it kind of has to do with the story and just you know what the game is based around. But they they like it's very self referential and that kind of translates into like a lot of art styles and stuff. Like because every outfit for most of the games is in there somehow or some way. Um, yeah. Whether it's well. like you know a piece of armor, or it's a skin or something like that. But. Um, no, yeah, the graphics look. It looks really good. Cause I, the, my favorite thing about Injustice Two is that like they did Injustice Two looked amazing. It had like great facial, facial animation and everything. That's what I was waiting for was for them to use that on a Mortal Kombat game, and it's awesome. I also like how. Um, well, I guess we can get to the mechanics a little bit later, but I mean everything is everything like makes sense. Like everything where everything's placed in the game makes sense. Um, the how the bars are positioned, how you can like tell everything's refilled, all everything is like placed in a good spot. So yeah, no, it's a it's a. I think it's a huge step up, and yeah, it's one of the better looking games I've seen recently. And the facial animations are great. The gore is still disgusting, but it's not like unbearable. It's I really mean, good. They did a good job with the gore. It's not too crazy. Most of it, like I'm playing it right now while we're doing this interview. But, like, even the fatalities are a little goofy. They're not... Um, I mean, they're gross. Like, Kalanika, which, from, for this episode, we'll always call Kalanika Kronika. We'll always... Uh, yeah. She'll, like, look at the TV for a moment and then wince when some dude's head is plastered against the the screen. So, I mean, it looks good, but it's not too, like, crazy with the stuff going on. Uh, 
I the the loathing it's still, it's still gory. It doesn't look cartoony at all. Don't get us wrong. It, it still looks gross. The loading isn't bad. Uh, like it loads pretty well. I felt like sometimes Injustice Two was a little slow with stuff, especially when you're going through the gear and things like that. And this one slows down a little bit too when you go through um, when you go into the custom menus. But when you're in there, everything's pretty smooth and goes uh, really nice. the The presentation is really. Uh, good as well like it's good when you, when yeah. your fatalities the lighting changes and the fatal blows as well brutalities it's it's uh really well thought through and really nice it runs smoothly what, what i really like about the, um with about the fatal the fatal blows is like it doesn't stop the momentum of the games that's what i thought it would do whenever they first introduce them but it's like a quick thing and the match just keeps going and you have time to like think you still have time to play it's not like a I, moment stopping kind of thing Right. We'll get into it later when we get into gameplay. But yeah, I like the Fatal Blows. Yeah. Uh, it runs smoothly. I haven't seen, like, as fighting games usually do. Like, fighting games have to be at. Fighting games have been at 60 frames per second for like 20 years. For a now. while. For a while. So, yeah. Uh, maybe and, even longer than that. Um, on a regular PS4, it still looks pretty good. And it runs pretty good, too. I do see some weird ish graphical issues. It looks kind of blurry occasionally. But um, for the most part, it looks amazing still on the regular PS4. For people who don't have pros, Jirai is a pro, by the way, for people who didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen any blurs or anything. The only uh, visual glitches I've seen have been in the crypt, like uh, walking around. The crypt is a little weird because it apparently doesn't load everything at once. It loads it when you get closer to it because the areas are pretty big for fighting game so you'll notice sometimes yeah. like a, a pot texture will pop in or something but other than that like in the actual fighting and whatnot i have not noticed any uh graphical glitches i have had the game crash on me like four or five times but oh uh, hmm. i don't know what yeah I haven't, had, I haven't had it uh i haven't had it slow down on me yet I mean, okay, I do have a question about it's a cutscene that happens towards the end of the game. Spoiler alert. But um with the with the So rewind? you know the last Yeah, did yours slow down too? I don't think it's I think that's just how it looks. Oh, okay, cuz I was like looking, I was like is my PlayStation slowing down? Like what the so hell? There, okay, never this, mind. Okay. This this is all about time and there's a person who can change time. And at one point in the story, stuff starts rewinding um and it looks to me, it looks like they. It's not in the engine. It's uh, a video. And yeah. At least, okay, at least that's like m most of it. I think the first maybe ten seconds is in game, and then the last bit is video, uh, and it's like kind of rewound and chopped up. I think that's what it is. Speaking of that, the uh, the Wii version. Have you seen it yet? I'm sorry, the Switch version. Yeah, I know. It looks bad, uh, mobile. And docked, it barely looks as good as the no, it doesn't other... It even doesn't close. look it, as good it, as it, other it, versions. It, Let me correct that. Okay, so apparently... Uh, like, Xbox apparently looks really I'm nice. I'm sorry, I, I have a friend who bought... I have a friend who bought this game on Switch. Javier, if you're listening, why did you do that? Why would you do that to yourself? Who hurt you? Why would you buy this on Switch? Capitalism works, uh, baby. You know, um oh, so on the switch doc let's talk doc because that's when you get the most power right doc it looks a quarter as good as the actual other systems games do it, it's yeah, completely but, different but, but you know everybody's yelling it's still 60 frames per second yeah no, as it not. should be you but it's fuck not, it. though i've i've seen it i watched it being played for like an hour and a half live and it, it's not so what the game does oh shit because mortal kombat does this thing where it's kind of newer to fighting games but it's a good addition it's been in a few games all the matches are recorded so that you can go back and look at them uh for whatever highlights or youtube or uh whatever you want practice or something so yeah. if that's on on the the Wii switch then it the game looks and runs like garbage 
It, you it, absolutely don't, don't call it the Wii Switch. Stop doing that. That's, you that's absolutely disrespectful. Have to turn the match recording off. Once you do, the game looks a little better and it runs a little better. But the way the game takes in inputs, I I saw. Uh, I was watching Maximilian in his Yo Video Games group on Twitch playing, and they couldn't get longer combos to actually come out and work because the game Yikes. can't run everything like M- mk works off of string uh strings which is very different from like your street fighter which is a link type of fighting so a string in a fighting game is uh button commands that you can push that will Put out a combo and the animation's different for each combo. combo and yeah so in mortal Kombat, it's, they say it's dial a combo it's not necessarily but yeah. it kind of is the timing is very lenient so they, they even on, put it in the, in the tutorial for this one <laughs> right and so doing it in the the switch version will a lot of times lead to your combos not working and coming out at all so you you you're limited to what you can do uh i saw so many times where, like, if you have Noob Saibot, Noob Saibot's a character that has kind of a demonic clone with him. So when you fight him you or fight as him, you're actually two yeah. characters at once. And any time the clone would come out, it would, the game would stutter and uh, that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, that's I mean, bad. I think it's good they went to put the game on the Switch because, you know, people... With switches, maybe want the game, but it really doesn't run uh, that well all the time. It's not the best thing to practice with. I mean, people are like, you can t- oh, take no. it home, and if you're on, if you're a tournament guy, you can buy it and practice on the. Well, it just doesn't work well enough. So well, then you also can't even use the fucking towers. So like, what do you mean? I stop you, it. Dude. You also you gotta stop doing uh, that. Shut up. You you also can't use like the towers of time and stuff. It like the, the towers of time are like online towers that update every day. <laughs> Gear and stuff for your character. Yeah. Anyway, you can't use them unless you're connected to the internet in some way. So you're telling me that what can they even do offline? Isn't it just like practice and story mode and maybe normal towers? Like that's it, right? Right. Oh, and local I mean, that's, that that would be the same for anyone offline. But like, if your selling point is you can take this game to other places, listen, dude, is that you? Like, seriously, it's not me. Shavar, Shavar, no, like seriously, stop. I didn't do. I didn't do it. Anyway, yeah, no, if they just like. Didn't do that. That'd be great. Fuck the Switch version. I'm done talking about it. I just got interrupted like 13 times. So <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but don't get the Switch version. It's bad. And if you've got it, shame on you. Yeah, I mean, don't Yeah, don't get the Switch version. Um, don't get the Switch version. So if you move- got it, you got it because you're... You, if you have any other system and you got the Switch version, I don't feel bad for you. You're, you're, you're not very... Mm. Let's move on to the uh, some more presentation stuff, but sound here. Uh, I think the sound in this game is really good. I, I used my headphones for the first time a few days ago, and it's I mean it's really good for the f- first time. Uh, I think in a long time, stages on in Mortal Kombat have music, um, like their own stage music on each one. Uh, you can hear the stuff well, going on okay. in the background. That's disrespectful. Because they did have stage music before, it's just that this time it's good. It, in MKX? Yes, go go back to MKX. They have music, it's just really low, and it's not very good. And, and I think it's the same track, and I think it's most it's really hard to hear. So as No, it's I'm not concerned. the same track, it's just bad. That's what I'm saying. MKX's soundtrack was not very good, because they were doing that whole... Because mk nine soundtrack was better. MKX, they were doing the whole "Ooh, we're dark and mysterious." It's this is the dark game. That's why it's the contrast is turned all the way to fucking black, and everybody's outfits have hints of goddamn gray in them, right? I don't so know. So that's I, why I, I remember also absolutely zero music. 
from MKX. While That's what I'm it. saying. It's because it's bad. That's why it's all dull, like low music that you can barely pay attention to while you hear smacks and bones crunching above it. If if you say so, I uh, I don't remember any. Anyway, this I game mean, does have just, stage yeah. music. MK, uh, MK MK11's music is really cool because it has like some like sound cues that like you know harken back to like old stages or like old tracks and stuff like that or like old sounds from Mortal Kombat games. Um, isn't the Toasty guy back? I think he's. I saw him one time. This is MKX music during the stages. I don't. Does this play during the stage? That didn't sound like. No. Yeah, I don't like. This is the music. I don't think any. There is music. Right. You know that there's music, right? Stop. Stop fucking with me. There's music in the I game. Don't. You just don't remember it. Shavari, but you have to use your use your goddamn brain. There's music in the game. It's just it's just not memorable. Just just say that. <laughs> don't say there wasn't music in the game. I don't know, man. It wasn't it wasn't good music. Like but anyway, K Eleven's music the game we're the game we're talking about. Uh it's good. Like the Shao Kahn stage, not the Shao Kahn stage, but like the Coliseum stage. There's like this sound that plays. It's like the low it's like <clears throat> Do you remember Deadly Alliance or Deception when like you get low health and they play like that doing sound or whatever? It's like they in that in stage this. music. Yeah. It's no, no, but like that specific sound is like in the music because I've noticed that like while I'm playing the game and not we're not low health, like it's like an instrument that they play in the game that like makes that sound. Right. Anyway, it sounds yeah. good. Um, the fatality. you. <laughs> Sounds are good. Uh, spine rips sound good. Uh, the voice acting for most people, except Ronda Rousey, sounds good. Ronda Rousey is a, a problem uh, in this game. In uh, in the story mode, he, I think she's maybe the first person to speak. Uh, or no, it's no, awful. No, no, no. She's not the first person to speak, but she's one of the first yeah, ones. And it's so jarring voice. hearing like sea level acting in. And otherwise, like, pretty uh, uh, engaging set. It's just so bad. It's so yeah. bad. So the rest of the rest of the cast does awesome. I, I really like the rest of the cast. Um, and of course, voiceovers she, and everything. She but plays, Ronda Rousey, she was bad. She she did, could not deliver a line for shit. She plays I, young. I could tell it was her. And old Sonya. And, I mean, of course you can tell it's her, because we know it's her. We know she's not a voice actor. We know it's her voice. It's like when uh, uh, Kevin Spacey was in Call of Duty, or uh, What's-His-Face was in Metal Gear Solid uh, 24 Man. It's probably actually convincing the damn rapist, but yeah. But, but in, anyway, like, I don't know. Her, she, the it's it, it's so bad. The way she delivers just, her lines. Try to explain it. It's it's terrible. The way she. I mean, go ahead. There's no heart in any of the lines. She doesn't believe. You can tell she's reading it off of a script. It's like she doesn't even really know what's going on in the story. No, I and don't like, think that's it. Like they even made some of the lines she had more generic on purpose because they're like, oh shit, she, she's she can't do shit with her life. Well, what were I, you gonna say? She, I I think she just is that bad of an actor in general? I mean, you've seen her in movies and stuff. I, I Oh, yeah. She, I, I, I don't think she's stupid and didn't know what was going on. Or, I think she really, really tried really, really hard. And she she I'm pretty sure she came up with some lines on her own. And Ronda Rousey's I, whole thing is to be a tough, tough lady, tough woman, and do tough stuff and say tough things. And you can it's just posing. It's just, oh, it's so bad. It's it's the worst, and I, the thing is, I like to play as Sonya, so I'm really fucked because I have to hear this woman speak all the time. It's one thing when you play against it, because then you can like you know rip her legs off or something, but can't do it this time. It's just need to put in voice packs or something, man, because I can't do that shit. She sounds like garbage. She does sound really, really bad. 
Uh, Sounds really bad. Like, like I thought people were exaggerating, and then I started playing the story, and I was like, "Oh no! Like this is bad." She sounds. She says something in oh. one of the like her victory, like between round thing taunt thing. She's like, "That's beat ass nuts." I don't even know what that is supposed to mean. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? And I don't know. I'm let's saying, ask Ronda Rousey. I mean, she can't beat shit anyway. You know, we ain't gotta talk about that. Um, yeah, Ronda yeah, is but, probably one of the worst parts of this otherwise very, very good game. Uh, oh, yeah. Ask one, me what my least favorite parts of this game were. She'd probably be the first one thing I mentioned. Right. The the one sound glitch I get is sometimes when I do fatalities, there's no fatality music. I don't know why. but uh, And it usually only happens when I'm using Sub-Zero. Uh, everyone else yeah. usually works well, but sometimes the fatality music just doesn't come up, and it makes the fatality a little more kind of sick because there's, <laughs> there's <laughs> just nothing to it. But uh, other than that, the sounds really good. I no, really like the that happened to me before. What one time I did a brutality, and the music just kept playing from the stage, and he held his hand up and said brutality and everything, and the music started to play as it faded out, and it looked just kind of gross. I felt bad. I was like that. That looked well, like it wasn't I, I fair. I was saying the opposite. I said there's no music at all. No, that, no, that, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's like no music at all. Yeah, there, <laughs> there's nothing. It's just a dude like putting his hand up someone's ass and ripping out their spine. It's really. Yeah, that that sounds like it's that sounds like a snuff film. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So, uh, and, and the crypt sounds really good. The crypt has a lot of, a few scares and stuff, but the crypt sounds really nice. It sounds kind of yeah. mysterious and scary, so they did good in Nice there. and eerie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, gameplay. I think the fighting Ooh. in this game, I think the reason I like this game's fighting more is because, um, it, it, like... They slowed it down. Yeah, it's it's slower than MKX. A because the run button isn't there, and a lot of the combos don't. None of the combos are really there. fast if you look back at it. Yeah, it's really fast. It's super fast. Uh, but they slowed it down, but not just slowed it down. Like it's slower. I, I think they made it more like personal in the matches. Like. The stages are probably the same length, and the cameras zoomed in just as much. But it seems like you really have to learn how to actually play more than MKX. MKX is so 50-50. Like, you could just learn the combos and then hope they would come out and uh, yeah. against most people and hope that and that guy block low. And so, exactly. Like, so... Yeah. Uh, the fighting to me is chance and more up to like how well you know how to defend yourself and how well you know how to neutral is, use your meter is more important and things like that. Um, I right. I don't like I I I didn't think I would like the meters at first, but I think the meters are actually oh I my favorite them. part of the new gameplay stuff where your meter just builds yeah. constantly. And it lets you focus more on actually, like, confirming and doing what you need to do uh, in the game. You, you get to focus more on fighting because you're not trying to do things to reward yourself for bar, and you're not waiting for bar. Well, you like you you are waiting for bar, but you're not like you're not. It, it charges fast enough to where you're not like depending on it. If that makes sense, and. Yeah. And the fact that the bars are for different things also helps you kind of like think about things a little differently. Like, oh, I can use this defensive move to roll out of the way. So the or, way, oh, so I'm going to be able to pop him up after this. So the way the game works now, you have uh, two bars. Well, actually, you have four bars. Most fighting games have three or four bars. And usually in a game, let's look at MKX or Injustice, uh, your bar would build up. And then you could use that bar to make an attack stronger or do a launcher. Or if you filled out the bar, you X-ray. You could do an a, like a finisher, an ultimate attack, a, an X-ray or something like that. Um, in this game, it's changed. So instead of four, you do get four bars, but two 
the horizontal two are for attacks and the vertical two are for yeah. defensive things. And different attacks and different moves and different options uh, use one or both of the bars. And uh, it's it. I think it makes the game a lot more fun uh, than usual. Uh, and the ultimate attack is not tied to the bars anymore. It's tied to your health. So once your health gets below 30%, you have access to what's called the fatal blow, like we were talking about earlier. And uh, the fatal blows do about 30% damage. So if your opponent's in the same kind of position, you're very likely to kill them with a fatal blow. Uh, this yeah. is the same as the special attacks from Injustice or the X-rays from the old MKs. You press L2, R2. So you can't or, abuse them. With the two triggers. Yeah, you you don't... Well, you can't abuse them in those games either. In the old games, you would need yeah. to fill the bar completely. In this one, you get one no matter what, in every match. But you only get one per match. You only get one. Right. If you miss it, I mean, that's the thing. Is that back if you, if you were... In, in the other games, you can perform x-rays and stuff like three to four times in a match if you got it off correctly. I don't know about three to four times. Maybe... maybe. Two, two to three. Two to three. Two to three. But, uh, yeah, so it, it's a much better system. It... It means that you see the fatal blows a lot more. Before, people wouldn't use the x-rays, really, because uh, you could use it for other stuff in your meat to get more damage, actually. So I, I really like this style. I think it's the my favorite way for bar to work currently in, in any game. So I, I really like yeah. it. Um, I, th- I like it a lot more. I, I remember when they first presented it, I thought it was going to be like something stupid. But then when I got a hand on the game, I was like, oh, this actually makes perfect sense. Also, it um, the bar is also used for things like pop-up attacks, which you can't do with like any attack anymore. I mean, wake-up attacks, not pop-up attacks. Yeah, um, attacks. yeah which, which takes a little bit of time adjusting to, but once you get used to it, I mean, it's like, what, it's up two and up four, I think, right? Right. So it, it's either up triangle or up X or up Y and up A or up whatever the fucking Wii Switch has on its buttons. But we're not playing that one. Yeah. So Yeah, no, um, no don't play that. Right. So uh, that's the fighting. I mean, there's a lot more in-depth stuff to talk about, but I don't think anyone wants to really hear well, about Well, this blocking is, is, is a good thing. Right. Um, Most people won't do it, though. I mean, uh, oh yeah, and the the tutorial mode is awesome. Uh, it if if you don't if you're the type of person who doesn't really know a lot about frames, or you don't really know what frame advantage is, or you know you're trying to learn how to play Mortal Kombat differently from other fighting games, the training mode is actually really good in this game. And um, even if you know how to play Mortal Kombat, this game plays differently than other ones. So I recommend if you play play through the whole thing. Because you also unlock a lot of things for doing it to you. I think the training mode and idea was okay. I think the training... I think a, a lot of the modes in the training mode are glitched, though. Like, And if you if you are like a pure beginner, oh, then true. you won't be that's able true. to finish the training mode. Because it... I don't know. Maybe they've patched it and changed it. There have been a few patches in the past three weeks. But there are yeah. a few parts of the training mode where it tells you to do one thing, but you absolutely can't it's impossible to do unless you know to do something else so i think the idea of yeah the okay. execution i, I was gonna work. ask about that because there there's a few spots in the tutorial where you can do exactly what it says and you there can't get past it spots. huh yeah i said there are a few spots yeah 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 there, there are a few spots because i remember i was I, it took me like a day or two to do the tutorial and when I was finishing it up, there's a couple I got stuck on, and I'm like, "What's going on? I'm doing the combo," and eventually it just worked. So yeah, I mean, that's my one complaint about the tutorial. Besides, like overall, I think it's a really cool idea. I do, I do think the glitches kind of suck, but without in in a world where it didn't have glitches, I think it's well executed because um, it, it kind of gets you to learn that the game isn't all about learning the biggest combos it helps you learn that not every car- character is about combos but it also you know teaches you how to play the game like just neutrally but yeah i really liked it yeah it was it was fine 
Um, so the modes that we have, uh, or we'll get into modes later. Um, the fatalities are really nice. Uh, you, everyone has two, from what I can tell. They might, they might be secret ones, or they might add more. But right now, it looks like everyone has two. Um, yeah. You, but everyone starts with one. Uh, the inputs are the same as other MKs. Uh, the the fatalities are much more interesting. Some in MKX, a lot of them would be kind of weird, and the camera would just sit there looking at a dude with his with like no jaw and no fingers, and it's just some of the some of them were like unfinished, and I feel like some of them were going more for. Because, I mean, it's always about, like, the gore, like, shock factor, but it wasn't, like, stylized gore like it is in this one a lot of the time. MKX was definitely was more, more about mutilation. Like, like uh, yeah. just kind of more disrespectful type of fatalities. This one, I mean, there's still lots of mutilation. You'll have arms and legs and jaws and stuff ripped off. But they're much more tailored to character, like, personalities and things like that. Which I, Like I Johnny like Cage's second fatality. And his first one. Well, Johnny Cage's fatalities are both really, really fun and good to do. But yeah, um, he has some of the best ones, honestly. Yeah. Uh, and they, this, if you remember Injustice, or if you played Injustice, every match would end with like the camera on the character doing like a slow mo thing. So the fatalities do the same thing. So they're they're made where it it finishes in a cool pose or something where you can still like want to look at it and enjoy it uh the brutalities are also yep. cool i like there are more of them i like they're easier to find the everybody has one of the same ones which is cool um if you counter with a uppercut at the end of a match you'll pretty much always do one if you no, hold no, no, triangle no. i think no, no, no. you have to not block the whole match and then it'll work oh really yeah, so if you if everyone has a universal I've been not blocking a lot. Hot damn. Huh? I've been not blocking a lot then. I've been doing that brutality a ton. Well, so there's one brutality every character has. Just like Yeah, there's one brutality every character has where if you don't block and attack the entire match and you finish the match with an uppercut, you will knock the opponent's head off and their spine will follow behind so the whole thing comes out uh it's not hard to do you no. can you can block you just can't block and attack so you can hold the block button and as long as nothing touches you it'll still work uh yeah i, I guess that might be true i'm i don't know about that one chief uh, I did an endurance it's... round earlier today, and I'm pretty sure I blocked, and I did a but brutality the last... on the last Okay, person. when you do an endurance match, each person is counted as its own match. Uh, uh, so if you do okay. an endurance uh. match, and you have 1% of your life left, and you finish the match, it'll say flawless victory. Because you that makes hit sense. the okay. entire time. Yeah. Okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, and All then right. there are crushing blows. <laughs> so crushing blows are these opportunities in each characters um combo arsenal to do a shit ton of, of damage if you pull off the requirements so like sub-zero he's the ice guy clearly and uh if you do your slide attack and enhance it three times on the third one you will get the attack kind of changes and the the person takes more damage. Uh, another one is like Sub Zero or Scorpion. He his throw he stabs you. If the other character guesses the wrong direction of the throw twice, on the third time, when they guess wrong, he'll stab you, and then the other character bleeds out, so the health keeps going down. So there are lots of opportunities to do a lot of damage, and everyone has also um, a universal crushing blow, which is an uppercut. After someone tries a high attack, so yeah, uh, the crushing blows really make it fun because they kind of give you a plan of what to do in the match. Some people have easier crushing blows than others. Like um, Sub Zero think... has a couple of easy ones, I think. Uh, Sub Zero has he ha he has a throw one. Uh, he has a slide one. He has uh, you have to do more than eight hits in a combo to get another one. 
And he has like and some punishable ones. His, uh, huh? Yeah. But other he has the four is... triangle circle. What? Four triangle circle where he like hits him with the axes and then yeah, kicks him a, in the head. It's a punish one, like I said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then other people like Garrus, the new character, have he has I, like twenty five crushing blows. He's got so many really easy He's crushing okay. blows. The maybe might be the best character in the game for whatever reason they decided to no, do that. No, people are pretty much calling it. He might be just the best character but in the game. Are stupid basically, too. like I, I, it's like, do you let Joe blow? You know, make. NFL plays, no, they don't fucking know who's who and what's what. The, the only people who can really tell you which characters are in what tier are the people who are getting paid to play the game. Everyone else is kind of at middling levels. How, I mean, how would you know when you've only touched three characters, you know? People are just copying what other people say. The A big tournament finished yesterday, Summit of Time, is three days long. With all of the best, the 16 best uh, NRS players. Did Sox win? Yeah, of course. But Yeah, obviously. Guess what? All the Garrus were knocked out in, I think, the first two rounds of the last bracket. You know, like... Who, who did, did Sox win with? Uh, it's so, <laughs> in the group stage, he won with Garrus, only because Tweedy picked Garrus. Uh, so it was a mirror match. And then he won with Aaron Black. And then he won the final with Jackie. Of course. No, yeah. Jackie's great in this game. She's she's really good. I like her a lot. Um, she's not just the machine gun character again. Right. So, you know, uh, anyway, the, the gameplay parts, I think the new stuff is really cool. Uh, I think uh, all that shit is nice. The new characters they've added, so like, you mentioned Garrus. Garrus is uh, henchman to Kulanica, and he's cool. Yeah. I, I I don't like his design so much. I think it's really basic. He just has no shirt, and like it's very shirt. generic. He's just a black dude, but not black. Yeah, and then his alternate costumes don't impress me much either. So I hope they give he's him just wearing more armor, something more. <laughs> Uh, I I get what they're doing. He's he is supposed to just be a robot, you know. That that's kind of it. Yeah. And uh, he's he he lives like literally a henchman. Yeah. And he's really really good in the game. I just don't fancy his. I don't, uh, I don't like him that much. Skins. Um. Who else is new in this game? We have. Uh, new, new or returning? New Cetrion. So Cetrion is a new god introduced in the game, an elder god. I think Cetrion is really, really good. Most people think she's trash. Uh, she's awesome. I think she's good. I think she's very good to use. Her role in the story is uh, kind of disappointing. I mean, I thought there would be more character there for her. I think there is more, but it's not at all important to the story. She just does she does things to push the plot along. She's kind of like another henchman, basically. You find out more about her through like actually playing matches and intro dialogues and things than you do through the story. Uh, we have yeah. Kanika, who is not playable, but you can fight her. And she does have fatalities. One of my favorite fatalities. Oh, she does? Least. Yeah, she does. If you lose to her, she'll do a fatality sometimes. Um, yes. Cetria. Yeah, who else is new? Chronicle. Hmm. Um, we have so many returning people, it's kind of hard to think. Because Scarlet uh, came back. I mean, came back. Uh, collected, the collected. That's who. Uh, collecting yeah, a new collector. character representing a new race in the MK11 universe. He's a six armed kind of. Uh, he's six armed skinny dude. He's really fun to use. I think for beginner players, if you want to kind of step up what you do and it look, it look good on screen, 
he looks really good doing his stuff on screen. So uh, I, I think he's a good addition to. And then we have some long time no see characters like Frost. Uh, I think it was very interesting to make her into a um, fucking yeah, she's a cyborg. cyborg. Uh, Shao Kahn is back. I I think he's super fun yeah, to play with, fun. even he's though people so fun. On him. He is. He's he, he's intimidating. I, I like it because he's not like OP. Like I felt like Goro was kind of a piece of shit to play against in MKX, but it, Shao Kahn is all his moves are amazing and he's like really fun to play. He's, he's, I think fun is the best way to put it. Like his hammer has a lot of weight to it. He has a lot of different play styles. He can even zone a tiny bit, but really it's all about being aggressive, which is why he's fun to play. I think Frost and Shao Kahn haven't been around for five games or something. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Frost hasn't been around since, Armageddon and near, neither is Shao Kahn. Well, well Shao Kahn hasn't been played. Count because everyone was in Armageddon. I, I, Shao Kahn. Oh, Shao Kahn hasn't been around for a, even longer. I, many many years. MK trilogy. So probably. Uh, you yeah. have of course your normal returning from the the main game, but Cabal is back. Who hasn't been in the game for? Yes, He's great. Four or five he games. Off. Noob Cybot's back after missing the last game. Uh, Thick. He's and still, still fucking awesome. Thing is, everyone uh, is usable. I don't think there's anyone who's really, really weak in this game at the level at which regular people play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel like everybody, everybody in the game, you can somehow pick them up and learn how to play them at some point. Because it's not like MKX where I'm not gonna lie, there's some characters whose move sets I thought were bad. Like, even a character I didn't like that much. Uh, Kotal Khan is much, much better to use in this game than he was in uh, MKX, in my opinion. I think every single person on the planet would disagree with me. Really? Why? There's no one who main Kotal Khan last game who's using him now. Oh, I don't care about them. I'm talking about me. Well, for you, yeah, but I think arguably he's worse than in the last game. Really? Why? No, but like, how so? That's why I'm asking. Like, why do you think he's worse? I think he he against other better characters. He doesn't like Sonya is still technically playing MKX, the way her character works and moves. Um, Garrus mm. is is playing MK Nine the best. It's about spacing. Kola Khan doesn't really. Uh, fit in really well like as far as, he has good norm his normals are weak his his damage output just isn't there like with other characters i i think i think the biggest problem is the variation like the, the right everyone's using tournament variations and things i think kodal khan might, might be better if he gets custom variations so in in this game like yeah. in MKX, you have variations of characters. Each character has a different mode. But in MKX, but more like Injustice. What? Well, I mean, because in Justice you could equip moves and stuff, right? Yeah, but Injustice didn't have variations. True, true. So, but in this one you get to customize a variation. So if there's a move from one set you like and you want it in something else, you can mix and match them. Uh, every character gets three slots. Most moves take one slot. Some moves take two slots. Um, yeah. The problem is, like, in competitive play, like, in tournaments and in ranked mode, they only allow two kind of preset variations, which I think hurts most characters. Because if you look at a yeah. character like, I think Jax, I think Jax would be better if you could take away his projectile counter thing and replace it with something else or if you look at uh yeah. sub zero is one he has one variation where he has three projectiles and he has another variation where he can amplify one and do another one but one of the one of his moves which is really good for combo extenders is not available in any of those or Why, is it the those. jump one yeah the jump one is just not there so 
Mm. I hope that they change it where in tournament people only because the the way the fighting game community works, people are, in my opinion, lazy, and they mm-hmm. they just want to they just want to do what they see on YouTube basically. So they'll just pick yeah. what professional players say to pick, but really the skill gap is so vastly different that I think at most people's skill level, it doesn't matter. The, those tiers are much smaller. Like the, the difference right. in characters, it, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, so I hope they open up custom variation so more people try more things. Because if you go online and you play, you have two options. You can play the tournament style or you can play custom style. The custom style is fun the casual style but uh, many people are still just using tournament variations which i don't i really don't get and then people i've gotten messages yeah. from people fucking complaining because my sub-zero has the ice move well it's it's in casual so it shouldn't matter yeah i mean you can they can put it on their fucking character i mean i've seen that a lot online too is that there's a lot of people just not because I, 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 I play with the variations. I don't play with the tournament variations. There are a lot of people who are just picking the basic... Um, they're, picking, they're picking the basic variations. So I'm just going to say, like, if you're doing that, I feel like you're just missing out on half of the game. Because part of it is not only customizing your character's looks, but, like, if you can add the moves, it's like almost like playing a different character. You can turn Scorpion into, like, a zoner if you want to, which is ridiculous. You can... Also turn him into a combo machine if you want him to be like that. Like, there's a lot of different ways you can play with the characters. And a lot of people online are just picking, like, stock shit. And then wondering why they're getting their ass kicked or why they're not having as much fun as they could be having. So, I don't know. So, I hope there's more customization coming in the future as far as... Um, I hope they add more moves with more characters. They probably I hope will. They, I hope people... Like Probably move up. packs and skin packs. Right. Because the problem with Injustice was that you would have situations where you'll go and play casual, which is fun and cool, but then you play against this dude who has like a red hood that does plus 3,000 damage, and you're dead in five shots. So mm-hmm. you're like, okay, well, well I won't well, do that. It doesn't go... have that problem as much, right? No. Uh, I'll go play... The ranked mode. So you go to ranked mode, and ranked is people who are so serious about the game that if if you're not really serious about the game, you're just going to fucking lose. You're just going to lose really, really hard. So in this one, they've taken away the damage modifiers and the defense and life modifiers as far as playing with other people. In single player, they still are there. But if you take a custom character, you're only taking different moves which everyone has access to. Yeah. You don't unlock moves. You don't unlock anything like that. The only thing, the only things you can unlock are character skins, which they're... Fatalities, brutalities, stuff like fatalities, that. Fatalities, brutalities, skins, and gear. The skins are... Um, everyone has a few skins, and then there are different color variations of the skins, and you have different yeah. levels of them. There, There's mortal, which is the basic... There's Mythic, and then Mythic. there's Elder, which is the top one. Yeah. Uh, it seems like Mortal is just... It, what changes the most seems to be color uh, variation. Yeah. With the Mythic ones, you tend to get colors that the characters usually don't wear. And Mortal Kombat's from the 90s, so most of the characters, characters are color-coded. Like, Scorpion is yellow, and everything he does is yellow and black. Uh, Sub Zero is yeah. blue. Everything he has and owns is blue. Liu Kang is red and black. You can get wear red in this game, right? So usually the mythic ones are a little harder to get. I mean, not really. It's all kind of random, but they tend to have different colors, and these colors yeah. also affect your equipment you have. And then the elder ones give you the same thing, different colors, but it also changes the equipment. So, like, on a Sub-Zero, a mortal one might be blue, a mythic one might be green, right? 
and I have yeah. a green axe with a green shirt. But if I get an elder one, Sub Zero, his shirt might be green, but his axe will be purple or something. Like they kind of yeah. it just mixes up like that. Um, and unlocking the stuff is as simple as going to the crypt. But we'll we'll talk about the crypt soon. Um, yeah. And then you have masks, you have hats, you have everything that kind of characterizes those okay. characters. You can switch out. I think some of them are pretty f- abysmal. Um, okay, Jax's belt buckle thing is the dumbest dumb. shit I've ever like, seen. It, his fucking belt buckle. That's what we're doing. Yeah, of course, like, of course, his arms, don't make me do that. You know, of course, the little the the fucking grenade launcher or shotgun they've given him. I get those two. And then you're thinking, what's the third the belt thing? buckle? What, it, yeah, it's his arms, it's his belt buckle, and I think yeah, and it's his gun. I think that's gun. it. Right? They they could have given him headgear. They could have given like I I think that was really that was lazy uh, as fuck. I I think it's just I don't think it's lazy because there are plenty of belt buckles. I think it's just unimaginative. <laughs> yeah, I guess there are plenty of belt buckles. Um, yeah, other no, people, I, that like, was disappointing. You know, I think Garrus's are really weak. Like you have, you can change his front and back time nodes, and and then his face. Ooh. Like I think <laughs> that's really, really Ring. unimaginative. I feel like they should have gone somewhere else for some of the characters, but most of them are fine. I I like Sub Zero stuff. You get his axe, his mask. I don't like his belt. I th- I think the belt thing is stupid. You hardly ever see the belt. Uh, scorpions are fine. You get his katana, his scorpions mask. Well, his... for the the spear, you don't ever see. You see the spear all the time. His fatalities and his fatal blows and his mood. His spear. Is oh always yeah, that's there. true. Uh, true. I, I I don't know. I feel some of them are really weird. Baraka's a little weird too, because if you don't choose the right moves, you won't see his flag. It's just, you know, <laughs> I think they really, I think they tried. Okay. Can I say the flag moves with Baraka still confuse me? Like they're cool and everything, but why a flag? Like what is? That's the thing. Oh, uh, that, thank you for making that make sense. I appreciate that. You know, yeah. Anyway, uh, but I do like the variation in the equipment parts that you do get, and I do like they let you see what everything <laughs> is. Um, I, a lot of people were complaining about unlocking the things. I think it's been easy. I don't see. I think it's better than Injustice because you don't get copies. Nothing. You don't get doubles of things. Oh, thank God. Uh... Injustice was bad because you get so many fucking doubles. and Or you get the same mask, except this one has better stats. This, this one's gotten, stronger. Right. This one's gotten rid of that. And, and it's it's just the gear is just for customization. I mean, there are augments and things, but that's single player only. And, that's for single player, yeah. Right, uh, and you can re-roll. So when you get equipment and shit like that, you can put augments in them. Once you level them up, augments do stuff like make this attack stronger or this thing faster, yeah, give you or, this, get, or, give or you get that. more hearts or currency or whatever. Uh, but you can always change those slots, just like Injustice. You re-roll them, except it's much cheaper. In this game, it's a thousand coins. You get, I think right now I'm sitting on uh, 1.5 million coins after I spent 3 million coins yesterday. So you get coins out the wazoo. Wow. Uh, souls, so there are three currencies. <laughs> lots of fucking stuff to talk about in this game. There are three currencies, coins, yes. souls, hearts. Coins you get from doing uh, anything. They use various things. You, you get you get hearts for uh, doing fatalities and brutalities. Right, you get souls Uh-oh. just by playing, same as coins. Uh, so it it's common to uncommon to rare coins, souls, hearts. Uh, when the first game first came out, people were complaining like, "Oh, it's so hard to get stuff." And then like three days later, there's a patch and it's easier. So um, yeah, I, I think you could reasonably unlock almost everything you need in a couple of weeks um yeah, there's so consistent. many ways to unlock things like you can go to the crypt 
and open a box and get stuff for your character. In you play story mode. If you kill a character 25 times with fatalities, you get a whole box for the character. Playing story mode gives you stuff for characters. If you can open towers for specific characters only and unlock only things for them. Uh, there's, there's so many ways to unlock stuff. Things uh, I think the problems people had before are yeah. gone. Uh, as far as like time. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's what I like about it is that there's a lot to do. There's plenty to do, and there's enough variation in the modes to do so. Especially as far as fighting games go, because some fighting games literally all you get is uh, story mode, online. And honestly, that's about it. And maybe an arcade mode. This one, you have the crypt. You have story mode. You have online with several different variations that aren't just, you know, 1v1. Uh, you have a fucking a dozen different ways to play the game that kind of make it fun for you to customize and, like, hunt through and, like, find other things. So, yeah, no, there's plenty of variation I think from a you know, fighting game standpoint and Mortal Kombat's always been like that. There's usually been like a different way to play the game. Right. Um, so speaking of modes, like you said, there's story mode. How, what did you think of story mode? That was awesome. I thought it wrapped up this last trilogy of three games smoothly. It functions a lot. Just like the last, uh, few story, well, just like all of NetherRealm story modes recently since MK9. Um, you fight, there's a story, there's a story, you fight, there's some story, you switch from character to character depending on the chapter, and you move through that chapter with that character, and um, this game functions a lot of the same way. There's 12 chapters, um, about three to four fights in all of them, yeah. and I would say it's about four or five hours long. I thought it was awesome. I thought their storytelling has never been better. Um, I thought the... I, Go ahead. If you're an Immortal Kombat fan, I think it it it's a very great wrap up to basic. I, I guess it really connects all the way to the very very first game. Um, I, I yeah. what I like most about this one is the the one problem with Mortal Kombat and in Injustice like um, story modes that I have. Uh, besides any like narrative things that happen, uh, yeah, is that a lot of times the ludo narrative dissonance is horrible. Like, it doesn't make sense for so and so to be fighting only because fucking Green Arrow wouldn't take two seconds to explain that he's not a bad guy. You know what I mean? Like that happens way too often in these games yeah. where you have a fight happen. For no reason, like uh, it, and the one in the one time that kind of happens in the story, it actually makes sense. Well, th- yeah, well then it doesn't count. Like in MK9, when Jax and Johnny Cage fight because Johnny Cage like commented on Sonya's ass or something, it doesn't. It does not make sense for Jax to be beating in the face of Johnny Cage because he Are said sure? he wanted to tap that. No, it doesn't make sense. It That's doesn't just make hilarious sense. though. It does no. It's it's not. This game does it a lot better than probably all of the other games combined. There is the actually the very very first fight is the only one that's a little weird about it. But then after that, they all make sense. It and they're not just. What do you mean? She's gonna beat her mom up because she's uh doing good soldier stuff, Cassie Cage. Right. It, that one doesn't make sense. Everything else after that makes a lot more sense. Uh and. It just flows better. It's very MK feeling game. Like if you if you yeah, watch it's the cheesy on purpose. The, movies, the jokes are really good. Yeah, it's it's really fun. Um, besides story mode, you have um, it's very nineties too. The story mode, the crypt, the it, they, crypt. they're very referential to the old games and everything as well. Right, and so is the crypt. The crypt is a third person. Kind of just a puzzle map. You go to different parts. You there are a few puzzles. There aren't that many. You probably count on two hands how many puzzles there are. But you just walk around. Yeah. You see a chest. You open it. It's same as MKX's puzzle place, except it's not first person. Uh, it you actually yeah. have free control of how you move. It's not just blips or dots, and it's a lot easier to get around. You kind of learn the map better. 
there are a few characters around that you can see and talk to. And that's where you're going to unlock most of the stuff for the game. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I had fun with it. I think I, like I it this time. Huh? I like it a lot this time. How, how, how much of it have you gotten done so far? I think I've un like, what do you mean? Like the map? Like, the, yeah, have you unlocked everything in the crypt yet? No, I think I've unlocked 99% of the map. I have, I think, one more room I need to unlock, and one, uh, one fucking, yeah, one more room and a few skeleton key places I need to unlock. Uh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. No, I'm not even sort of that close, but yeah, no. So the way the crypt works, you walk in, you walk around some chests. Uh, you you progress in the crypt as well. At the beginning, you can't open all the chests. You have to get certain items to be able to have certain abilities. Uh, but basically, most chests, I'd say 90% of the chests or 80% of the chests use coins, which coins you get from fighting, you get from winning matches, you get from uh, you get them from finishing towers. You get coins for everything, uh, and coins are abundant. You have a lot of coins all over the place. So most chests are opened by coins. And then you have soul chests, which are opened by souls. You get souls also from winning matches. You get souls from doing daily rewards, stuff like that. Um, I'd say on average, the chests, well, not average, but the chests range from a 1,000 coins to, I think, so the most expensive about, like... was 250. 250,000. But Oof. I think the 250,000 ones are like required to open like new areas and things. And there might be two of those. There's an 80,000 one or something. But I think this is a total of five chests that range between uh, 80,000, 250,000 out of 650 chests. There's something like 650 chests. Um, mm. Then there are soul chests, which cost 100 each. All of them are 100 except for three of them, I think, that cost 10,000 and 3,000. Uh, and then, or 2,000. And then you have heart chests, which are character specific chests. They are not randomized at all, so you know where they are and who they're for. Yeah. And those give you fatalities, brutalities, skins, things like that. Uh, and you can refresh the chest. So after you open chests, you can go to these little buttons and restock them. And when you restock them, you, of course, can still get brutalities and things like that. But you get more tower consumables. And in these towers here, of course, you have AI battles and things like that. But you can also get all the things your opponent can use, like missiles coming from the sky or stuff you can use as well so those things you can use in tower modes um, great and that's basically the crypt i mean it doesn't really take that long to get through it's kind of a thing you pop in before you finish playing and spend what you have and get through it yeah yeah like you're not you're not playing it a ton you're really just like going in there once you're like you know all right i'm about to finish playing this and i mean it's it's fun because i mean i saw somebody i think it was like game inform or something say like it's a slog it was it was uh a, a disappointment and i'm like well i mean when before the first patch it did what I, it was supposed to do before the first patch people's problems were that the towers were too hard for the prices to be what they were in the crypt because most people couldn't finish towers <laughs> And I agree. I think that for the average person, the towers were too hard. Um, I think there are too many interactables and too many th things happening, but they were doable, just maybe too hard. Then they toned that down, which I think really helped maybe 80 to 90 percent of people. And then they increase how many rewards you can get. So before you would get, right. if you did a fatality, you get one heart, uh, you get like, I don't know, 40 coins or something or whatever. Now it's like for a fatality or brutality, you get three hearts. Everything was multiplied by three or five, basically. Um, and, and that kind of fixed everything, right? It, that fixed things for most people, I think. Except for the yeah. trash people, yeah. Right. There are not... There's not 600 
dollars worth of DLC or was it six thousand or what? I don't know. Six thousand. Yeah. Where, where the fuck were people getting that from? By Otaku the way? wrote it up and then put it out, and then you know they don't even do a thing where they're like, "We're wrong. It's not six thousand dollars because you, you you could have well they in got their hand clips already so six thousand dollars." And there's no way to throw it at this game and buy all the skins. Well, what the game offers you is every two days, there's a store that refreshes. And in the store, I'll go to the store now so we can look at it. In the store, they have featured items. And there are five featured items. They're usually skins, uh, which you can unlock in the crypt. It tells you how to get it for free. So, like, I'm looking at this skin. It's a Kano skin. It's called On the Lamb. It's a fucking blue Kano. And it says, found in the crypt. And you can either go to the crypt and look for it, or you can pay 500 time crystals. You get time crystals for finishing towers and doing junk like that. I have currently 4,000 time crystals. Um, yeah. And if you want to buy time crystals... They're like same as injustice. I think five hundred time crystals is maybe five bucks or something like that. Five bucks or something. Right. Yeah, yeah. But all of these, I, I, it, all of these it, things, nice. there are only six available, five available at a time, and some of them are like three hundred time crystals, three bucks or whatever. But they're all available in the game if you just go and play. Like you can find them all, and then you can buy easy fatality tokens. So for people who don't want to push the buttons and don't do all that, you can buy quite a bit. For what a hundred time crystals, you get five. For five hundred time crystals, you get forty. And for a thousand time crystals, you get a hundred. Uh, so it, if you just, I mean, I don't see what the problem is, and it doesn't affect anybody's ability to get anything else like just people are just looking at things that you can buy in games now and they're policing them as oh it's a bad transaction it's a micro transaction shut the fuck up it's not a micro transaction it's a it's a thing in the game that if you want to buy it you can it affects literally nobody else so like i have myself 107 easy fatality tokens you, you just pick these things up as you as you go and you end up pretty okay i mean i i get people don't like to spend money and you really don't have to in this game and you don't have to spend that much time either if you really like this one character it is super simple and easy to unlock their oh, yeah. to go to the crypt unlock their heart box and then you just run around a, a, a little bit and you're gonna get stuff for your character uh, i i don't understand Especially because really what it is, is people were expecting to unlock and get everything in the f in a week, which to me doesn't make sense because yeah, that's not how it works. Do you do that with and I get it for YouTubers. Th that's they need to do that because they got to move on to something else next week or whatever. But everyone else is just kind of jumping on to things like that. It's not. If you just open yeah, the game I mean, and look at the it, average person playing bad. the game, it's going to give you longevity. Like, just play the game and you'll unlock shit. Right. And I agree. I think at the beginning it was a little too tough. I think at the beginning it was the payout was not enough. I think now someone could pick up the game today and in a week or two have a pretty good stock of costumes and gear and all that stuff. And all, again, all the stuff is customization stuff. It has very little nothing right. to do with the actual gameplay. Exactly. Like, it doesn't, it literally affects nothing. I, I don't even know why it was a conversation because people were bitching about it and people who weren't even going to touch the game were talking I mean, shit. I think so. people needed to complain about the difficulty in towers and things because I think it was a bit too much. I, I was in the top 1% of people who had done towers because it was so <laughs> hard, people couldn't do them. I get it. I mean, now I'm in the top 4%, and it's not that different. But, you know, with millions of people playing, that's a big difference. I think it was important that they talk about those differences. I think they have to. But on top of that, like it didn't need to get to, you know, $6,000 articles being written. Um no. 
towers Stupid. towers of time come back just like in injustice where you had the universes you choose a tower and in that tower there are different What's exactly towers. the same the same as injustice you choose a planet you go to the planet and different parts of the planet there are different events the some of them are two fights long some of them are i think eight fights is the, the biggest one maybe and you get rewards mm-hmm. at the I end for how well like you do. Uh, you can use tower consumables in the towers to make it easier, and you can use AI fights. One extra thing they've added... Consumables are like weapons that like come and help you, or um, augments that give you armor, or gives you extra health, and things like that. Right, and you can do it like a... You have another character come in and throw their moves, or you can give yourself health, or armor, or send missiles, or... Make the the other person's buttons not work. You can do all kinds of stupid shit. Um, and so you have those. There's a tower that is AI only. There are towers uh, that do all kinds of stuff. One new thing they added was the brutal difficulty. So if you pass... No, nah, it's finish, hard, man. Not that hard. If you finish a tower and you do all of the kind of score check marks... You unlock a new mode of that tower, which it makes the tower harder. AI battles are not usable, and there are no continues. So you have to beat right. it without losing. Uh, and you get more rewards. You get more something else, more money, all that stuff. Uh, and But they know it's maybe too hard for some people. So there's even an item that lets you continue multiple times on... on uh, Brutal tower, so you like oh, you really don't have that. to worry about it. Yeah, it's called like a huh. blood beetle or some shit like that. Um, oh, fuck. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And that's it for towers. Of course, there are classic towers. Uh, classic towers are the classic Jeez, Mortal yeah, Kombat that's, towers: that's with survival, endurance, um, uh, endless, and then your three-story towers: easy, medium, and hard. And you can you can actually choose the biggest one and just make it easy. If you want, or you can choose the smallest one and make it hard. If you want, it's oh, just really? how many fights you have. Yeah, you you're only choosing. Oh, okay. How many cool. fights and the difficulty for each power that's there. Um, and online, of course, online you have two modes. There are two types of modes. There's rank custom and tournament. Yeah, so there's ranked mode. Ranked mode. You only can use the variations that are listed as tournament variations. Uh, and then your gear and stuff is randomized when you do that. Hmm. You can do 1v1. You can do King of the Hill, which is just a room where you and a bunch of friends can go. I like and whoever wins okay. stays, and the Sorry. next guy comes up and tries. Uh, there are... You know, you can practice with other people if you want to practice. You can do all kinds of stuff. And then this custom, which allows you to do the exact same thing. The con- connections are pretty good as well, overall. I haven't really had, like, a laggy match. Super laggy match, per se. Me and Shavar played a few times. And it worked out for us most of the time. There were a couple of slower spots. But that's literally because he's across the world. But in my, like, day-to-day online play, it's been pretty smooth so far. Right. Um... And also there are multiplayer towers where you can do towers with friends. Same as Injustice, where three people fight one boss and two other two other people throw out items while one person fights. Or there's actually a tag team where you play kind of old tag team style against one character. I hope they add a tag team mode in the future because it's, it's fun. I like I it. You. Yeah. Waiting on it. Hopefully it comes sometime. Yeah. Um, but... And that's the game as a whole. I mean, I really like the game. I think... The, the, it's I a... hope it lasts a long time. I think fighting games like sports games need to last longer. I think what Dragon Ball is doing is great. I think what Tekken is doing is great. And I hope Mortal Kombat does the same with this is planned to last three, four, five years. Because it's really fun. Right. The characters are really well done, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give it like a nine out of ten until all the DLC comes out, because I think there's oh, a lot of potential. I was, I was gonna give it nine point five. I thought it was great. I don't do point fives. I, I do holes. I'm I, I think it has a lot of. Okay, I'll give it then. 
I think as it is right now is a 10, but there's a lot of potential for more to be done, more gear, more skins, more characters. And I, I just don't want to see them mess it up. So right now it's a nine. If things come out and you have really solid DLC and lifespan, it's a 10. Um, yeah 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 it's it's very good um i i think people who are looking for a fighting game to get into like whether you're a casual person or not i mean if you're casual there's guaranteed to be a character you'll at least gravitate toward and you, you may come to like all the other characters too i think it's a very good very well-made game it seems like they took a lot of notes from the last game and made just improved upon it like ten tenfold with a I lot did, of things yeah I um think if yeah go ahead yeah. Yeah, no, I, I just think it's 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 what MKX it took everything that made MKX good and improved upon it in a lot of ways and it also just kind of turned the game on its head a little bit as well too cuz it's not about doing 30 hit 50-50 combos it's more so about oh, let me try to find this opening and then pull off my combo or oh, let me use this character's ability cuz I know how this character plays. It's it's really good. I give it a 9. If you if if you're a person who's not really uh, who thinks fighting games are maybe difficult, I think usually people feel that way when they're playing like Street Fighters and things because just because those games at the core work differently, I think this game is really good for uh, beginners and low level people to get into because I mean I'm gonna be frank it's it's the strings. Strings are just a lot easier to understand yeah. and do for most people than links like in Street Fighter. So if you if you want to get into games or fighting games and you want to get better and you want to feel like there's actual room for you to do that, I think this game is, is really good for it. Uh, the community's yeah. big. There are so many people to play with. Uh, the skill level is so varied and different and you can watch it and understand what's happening without knowing the ins and outs. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not super duper hard to understand, you know, it's not like, Oh, he did this frame. So like, this is happening. I don't know what they're doing. Like, it's very easy to understand. So, 11. Uh, so there are a few controversies. We talked about my trigger transactions. We talked about the crypt. Uh, people don't like that Jack's ending has him. So at the, in at the end of <laughs> I I don't get it. In Mortal Kombat um, Eleven, the story is about time manipulation and time travel and like basically control over the universe. And in each character's character ending, they they obtain control over the universe and time and all the characters remake time uh and they all have different motives for why for example sub-zero at first he wants to revive his clan or something like that and have unity with scorpion but then he decides he wants to save his brother i'm gonna bring my brother back so he goes back and changes time so that his brother doesn't die and they can both be sub-zeros right uh, Jacks, he he was going to go back and fix his arms, but he decided it'd be better to make slavery not happen. And apparently, that that made a lot of people angry. They made a lot of people upset. Yeah, <laughs> that you know, I, I mean, I saw lots of arguments like that. Jacks being black has never been a character trait. I don't know what that means. Um, well, yeah, like See, what? He's been black since they made the character. What are you well, talking about? Well, I think about? what they're saying is he's 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 black, but it it's just he looks. He's been a good nigger this whole time. No, I What's think going on. They're like more kind of. It's <laughs> never been about like black enslavement or you know social justice or whatever. Um, other people so say that it's selfish for him to do that when other people have been slaves in the world and and. Israel is under attack and the terrorist attack. Oh my god! Think, yeah, act like act like you care now. Shut up. I I, I just don't know how to. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just virtue, a weird virtue signal, thing signaling to be really the upset fucking about. And make a... <laughs> um, the same people were upset as well about. Um, there's a line 
in one of the openings uh, where Shao Kahn, the former king of Outworld, is talking to Collector, one of his underlings, and they say... Shao Kahn's like a tyrant, right? So they say, make Outworld great again. And a lot of Trump supporters didn't like that. I thought it's just, it's just a joke. I mean, it's very... Really? It's just a joke! I, I think it's very clearly... Uh, you know, I mean, that's Poking amazing. Fun, that's it. It's moral combat. Right. Uh, and also, the women aren't naked enough for a lot of people. Oh, uh, I, I saw some stupid YouTuber trying to grab views. You think he called it Bagdality or something? Some racist shit? Yeah. Right, because like... one of the characters, Scarlet, who only appeared in one of the game, she was always mentioned before. She was never playable before MK9. And yeah. in K9, you could tell they just threw together a character model. She is sticks and bones. It's very generic. She has no clothes on. She has a bikini. Like, she has a bikini top and a thong and then shoulder pads. And nothing. That, that's yeah, it. And that's it. it her character design is awful. It's terrible. Right. She has a mask on because they didn't make a face. And she has, you know. It was just kind of like a, a surprise character for people who are fans. In this game, she looks a lot more, um, you know, I'll say ethnic. You know, she does it. Her, 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 she's not I'll naked. I'll say ethnic. Or whatever. Uh, she's not naked. People don't like that. Uh, most of the girl characters are pretty well covered, katana and things. I, I mean, yeah. I. Okay, my my did... thing is that I'm not going to lie. I didn't even notice that it was just a thing until I saw people complaining about it. I thought a lot of the character models still looked cool. I didn't think that that was a big deal. And then I kept seeing people keep bringing it up. They're like, none of the, all the women are covered up. That means they don't, they, 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 and it's like they're SJW now. Like, can y'all shut up? Like, it's a video I, game, dude. I mean, like, I, Mortal the Kombat like, didn't become like a sexy thing until the games were getting like bad. Because they had to sell them, you know, and then you had all the girls in bikinis and and stuff like that. Because, I mean, Deception, Armageddon, and Daily Alliance were not good games. I mean, they were fun. Deception, you, I will argue for Deception. They were fun, but but they're not good fighting games. They're so just still going to argue for Deception. Fun trash, or whatever. They they trash. Um. And I get it. People enjoy that. I mean, I liked it. I like Jade's outfit from before, and I like Melina is always dressed like crazy and maybe sometimes not dressed at all. But if it bothers you so much that now, like they're dressed like everyone else, that's I don't know. I think that's a little weird. Like it's okay. I think that says a lot about those kind of people. Like, is is that really bothering you that much? Like, dude, come on, like. Kind of look at yourself, like, cause I, I'm not like I'm, I'm dead serious. I didn't even like think it was a, I didn't think it was a problem or that people had a problem with it until about two weeks before the game came out. I like saw a tweet or two, and I was like, oh. I understand the sentiment about stupid. the the trend of you know like things changing and everything being offensive and stuff. I get that, but it's not like the Mortal Kombat people came out and said we're doing this because you know women's rights or something i think it was just an artistic choice to yeah i think it was just i think it was artistic choice i mean really this is the first time the characters are really heavily like designed to to be something you know i mean because it's all gear based too like they're trying to give them things to have yeah i I don't know i think it's just a, a weird thing to yeah, I, I really, I really thought that that I was really disappointed because I thought that I was like a stupid fucking because they tried to bring it up. I remember they were. Uh, I think when MK10 was coming up, they tried to do the same thing with that game and then it kind of died down because they're like, oh, it's so and so. And it's like, shut yeah, up. Yeah, they like, did try to do the same thing with, with that game. But they usually would say, yeah, oh, all like, the women look like men. Why do they make all the women? That's just I think that was just a, a skill problem there. <laughs> they're just not good at making <laughs> women but, yeah the uh, faces just look good my dude I mean I, I yeah, saw stuff no. that was like as well like see this is what happens in western development look at Japanese women and look at oh my god uh, stop western. fetishizing 
Japanese I mean, people. Well, it's not about fetishizing Japanese people. I think it's, I mean, it, it's really close minded. Like, if you look at all the Western games or whatever, you have plenty of, uh, I don't know, scantily clad women. If you look at all Japanese games, it's more common. But you, you've, you gotta have to look at why. Why are all the women yeah. really, you know, naked in Japanese stuff? And it's because that's how it sells to Japanese people. Most it's mostly guys who play games. Uh, yeah, especially like, in Japan, this isn't censorship. It's 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 an artistic choice, and like they're doing it because it fits with their game. I'm pretty sure Ed Boon wasn't in their you know, fucking office with the female, the fu- the future's female shirt, fucking yelling at them to put clothes on the goddamn women. It was just, I mean, it just ended up like that. And like, you're right. The Japanese, they use it to sell games. There's really like games over there with like half naked or fully naked fucking hentai girls on them. Like, come on, dude. Like, don't do that. And at that point, people would complain about stuff like that. Why are you playing? Why are you really playing a game then? If that's what it is, there are people when Bravely Default Two or Bravely Second was coming out, people were complaining because they're like, "Ugh, this chibi character isn't naked in the Japanese in the English version, but it is in the Japanese version." Censorship is awful, and I'm like, at this point, you're you're just that, being that a was the studio's decision to do so in the first place. Yeah, and like that, and yeah. also, but like, if you just look at the base of what's going on, what the fuck are you really even talking about anymore? I mean, I I understand that people don't no, want... they don't, no, because you're right. Like, they, they, they don't care about censorship. They don't. They just want to see some titties. I I think it's a little more than just want to see titties. I, but I, it's I, definitely, it's like definitely I think, all about wanting to see some fucking titties. I think a lot of it's about wanting to see titties, but I I think a little bit of it is about. It's not not it's not censorship because if you if the company's deciding to do something on their own they're not censoring. It's literally anymore. not censorship. Yeah, that, that's that's not censorship. I th- I think it's a lot about as far as the Japanese games that come to the West that change things. That has a lot to do with Japanese perception of Western people. They, yeah, bec- because they know the s- standards are a little different and they know why these games are s- selling anyway and they know all that stuff and they just don't want the bad media attention because the thing is people in japan don't care about you know naked or whatever characters in the game a- at all even when it's rape or children or anything like they don't care about anything and like i think it's really weird to bring up like the Japanese way of doing those things when the Japanese really don't there is no too much in Japan when it comes yeah. to uh like anything sexual or nude or anything it being given to anyone like go to a convenience yeah. store as any child can walk up and get one of those magazines so I think it's weird. You've got really two different scales where you wouldn't agree with everything the Japanese do. So it's kind of weird to bring up that bit of it. I think the the girls in the game look fine. They look I like yeah. some of the costumes. I think it fits the universe better. I, I think it's a little oh, weird. Oh, yeah. Of a I, I think everybody's facial designs look a lot better. I'm glad that Scorpion actually has a face for the first time. Um, that's pretty cool. He had one last um, time. <laughs> huh? He had one last time. Not, not really. I mean, you can actually see it now. Um, no, and and they did a good job trying to you know differentiate the two Shinobi clans, uh, the Shirai Ryu Scorpions clan, and what's the other one? Uh, Lin the Kwai Lin. No, Lin Kuei. Yeah, Lin Kuei. Uh, and they're like, hey, uh, Scorpion. Sub Zero, even though you know Scorpion's name is you know butchered, so Scorpion and Sub Zero are actually two different kinds of Asian people. Yay! We helped y'all figure that out. So yeah, they did a good job with facial stuff and like you know making people look a lot more unique in this game because the faces do get kind of samey, not samey, but they kind of look like mush in some of the older games. MKX but, yeah. looks like mush. Yeah, it does. MKX looks kind of mushy. It, it used to look amazing, but now it looks kind of mushy. 
Well, that's yeah. that's our review of uh, the the good old uh, uh, game called Mortal Kombat Eleven and uh, Eleven. Yeah, that's it. I I like it. I think it's a game. I, I, my I hope everyone who's into the game should, you know, pick it up. It's I think it's a really yeah, good game. Get it. If you're curious about it, I would recommend it. it it's, it, 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 it's it. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Raiden. Yeah. So you have to plug us here. All right. All right. Well, uh, thanks for listening to the show, guys. But uh, you should also do other things with us, like follow us on social media. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Super Chevy Bro. Follow us on Facebook at Super Chevy Bros. And uh, if you go to either one of those pages, you'll find a link to our Discord page, which you should also join. And follow us on Instagram. I'm going to go get back on there and post a lot more memes and shit. So uh, check us out on there. And there will be some YouTube videos up soon, probably, too. But um, yeah, uh, thanks for listening, guys. You'll get another episode soon. Thank you for being so patient with us. Y'all are the best fans in the world. Uh, thank yeah, y'all for new listening. New we'll be back in two days. Soon. Yeah, new episode in two days. Be on the lookout for it. It'll happen. Um, and then we'll be back on schedule. We just had a lot of stuff come up. Um, and it's also kind of hard to run a podcast occasionally when uh, you're in completely different time zones. Like, for instance, this is midnight for me right now. I'm pretty sure it's in my afternoon for Shavar. I'm going to have to go to sleep like right after this. But um thank y'all for listening thank y'all for being there um we love y'all and we'll get you another show soon bye catch y'all later next time on the super chevy bros